Before the radioactive tracer flushes out of my system, so you'll be on your back. I have to quickly climb into this 3D scanner and see whether my brain has changed because I meditated on God. All right. Well, look at it. Two eyes, a nose, and a mouth. <laughs> <laughs> well, but uh, to me, it looks like you're smiling a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> what do you see, or do you see anything? So these are your two scans side by side. Here's your resting scan. Here's the meditation scan. And you can see, if you look at the frontal lobes here, it's mostly yellow, just a little bit of red. Whereas if you look during your meditation, the whole frontal lobe just kind of has blossomed. So if you are concentrating on something, if you're saying a prayer, if you're focusing on God, if you're trying to connect with God, then you tend to increase the activity in the frontal lobes. How do I compare with, say, a nun praying, or let's say a Buddhist monk who is meditating? Do I compare at all? As with the nuns who were concentrating on a prayer, the Buddhists who were focusing on an image, they all activated their frontal lobes. And that's exactly what you did, too. If I was contemplating the image of God, could you tell the difference? We actually scanned an atheist who was a, a very good meditator, and we asked him to concentrate on God, to meditate on God, and he wasn't able to activate his frontal lobes very much. So in fact, if anything, as it you can see, it sort of bit. decreased a little bit, yeah. So even though they said, yeah, I'm concentrating, I'm trying to contemplate God, they just were not able to do a very good job of doing it because they didn't really believe it. So I think part of what that told me is that regardless of, of what our practice is, the key is, is do you believe it? Do you buy into it? Is it important to you? It's amazing that somebody came up with the idea that you could shoot somebody full of radioactive drugs and, and look at their brain. The brain is just so unbelievably complex that it's not that there's one God spot or one God part of the brain, but it seems to be the whole brain that gets involved. And ultimately, these, these change the way you think and feel about the world. So apparently, it is possible to see physical manifestations of God inside us. Whether you're Christian, Buddhist, or any kind of spiritual person, experiencing the divine actually changes the brain, changes the way we see the world. That's really something.